at the very outset, I give glory and honor to Almighty God for this auspicious day. And I greet all of you. Happy Easter. I, on the help of Jackson Public Organization, welcome all of you to our land, especially the Jackson Trumpet and also Hack the Nation. I appreciate the British government for being the main agent for bringing the modern Western civilization to our land, especially the field of administration, health, and education. Most importantly, for playing a vital role that bringing back the gospel to our land. Especially the Nagas were known as headhunters. Once we were fair for headhunting practices. But the truth of World War II that was affected even in the most remote region of the world and also including the part of this land the war is never both British and the Japanese including our people suffer greatly yes but we are happy that British did not lose <laughs> Especially, I want that Lieutenant Colonel William Felix Brown, the commanding officer of the 1st Assam Regiment, the 1st Battalion, and his men survived the rumors and during the attack. Otherwise, we will not be happy with it. A moment goes to be like this. We convey our congratulations. And also, to all the survivors, if there is any alive today. We also want to appreciate our Madam Shalikati for her determination and also an initiative paid a tribute to her grandfather and taking this historic walk to remember the 80 years of the Second World War. We also want to thank her family and all the friends, young and old, all the way from the United Kingdom to our land. This is another one. Who is all of you? This is a local record. Charlie Kaiser. And also, we pray that God will take care of you. Charlie will take care of you. Charlie will take care of you. <laughs> really, the courage, the courage, and also hardship that your grandfather and his man endured to survive there. Today, we are there. Jackson Public are welcoming you again, and this is the <laughs> our package on behalf of our Jackson Public 
is going to provide you. And also, our honorable minister, our honorable family, Mr. Kuzomuzo, leader of the NPF Presidential Party, who is also this regime. We are providing you today 80% is a local company and so called organic. Therefore, without having any reservation, we can have as much as possible. <laughs> and we want you to enjoy our business today. I once again welcome each and every one of you to the level of Chakasa. We should have a very generous and a self journey throughout your journey. And also, we pray that God will protect you and bless you. Thank you all for the time. I extend my warmest welcome to all our friends from the UK and my Mrs. Charlotte, my family members. Moreover, my CTO president has already welcomed you on behalf of the village. I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the government and also on behalf of the Hague District Legislatures. Though it will be a very short stay, I wish you the very best of the stay. And in case you have any problems, you let us know. Well, you might be wondering why I'm sharing such a thing with you. <laughs> I'll first introduce myself, then I'll come to this biography I'm carrying with me. I'm the local representative from this village. I belong to this village. My grandfather was from this village. My great grandfather was from this village. My great grandfather was the first Christian. First Christian from this village. Then my grandfather happened to be the Hobilda from 1st Assam Regiment who worked under your commandership, your, grand, your grandfather, Colonel Williams' commandership. Today, I am the local representative, I am the MLA, the abbreviation of MLA is member of Legislative Assembly. At the same time, I am also the leader of the MPF Legislative Party. NPF party is a very old party, one of the oldest party in the northeast. It's, a, it's called the Grand Old Party. Previously, we were in the government for nearly four terms. Let me say, three and a half terms. Three and a half terms. Uh, I was in the government for 15 years. Then, after the fifth, on the 28th year, I became operation. And today, we are in a so-called Operation Less Government. You might have not have heard of that. It's a very rare formation of a government without an operation. It doesn't benefit the general public, of course, but in the interest of the Nagai political issue, we are having an Operation Less Government because we have an issue to settle with the government of India. We claim that we are not Indians. We want our own sovereignty. We want our own independence, and we're fighting for the same. Since 60, 70, 6, 7 decades on the line. And we believe that one day our dreams will be achieved by achieving full sovereignty. That's why today, in that pretext, to solve this Naga long pending issue, we have formed an opposition as well. Well, to cut the story short, I really want to thank uh, Mrs. Charlotte for bringing your, I'll say troop, I'll not say team, because your, your father was the leader of a troop. So I'll say, bring your troop to Nagaland to revisit the Second World War footings that your dad has traveled. Well, today it's a good coincidence for me. 
because it is a resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Therefore, in the same manner, I would like to also wish you a very happy Easter. Nonetheless, for us, again, it's a good coincidence because it's a resurrection of the Second World War history. Well, to cut the story short, as I stated, subjected to a lot of correction because the other day only I tried to go through the Google papers, I tried to see the history. Because I was I went to Delhi for a very important meeting and on my way back on 29, I think I thought we have we were traveling the same flight, most of us. <laughs> I've seen a lot of familiar faces. I was thinking, why are so many foreigners coming to <laughs> At the end of the day you we are going to Netherlands the same spot and same place. I didn't never knew this. What a good coincidence. So as I said it's a down memory lane how your great grandfather commanded the school and what he also stated was it surprised him why they were recalled to him but there is a history behind it. had this group a sam regiment was not recalled the history of second world war may be quite different we might have lost the war the british might have lost but because of the recalling of these troops, where they had to walk for three days, as you were talking about 90 kilo, uh, miles, which comes to roughly around, say, 100 kilometers, kilometers and above. So now, walking these three extra days, extra mile, walking the extra mile to reach Kohima and save the situation and allow the British government to win the battle. The first regiment. Had they not been called back, as I said, the Britishers might have lost. But the first regiment, they themselves could not keep up with the fighting troops of the Japanese. They were so intensive, they were so vigorous, so they had to call in another second battalion, isn't it? Second battalion to assess them. And with their help, at the end of the day, they won the war. And my great, my great grandfather here. He is born in 1960. At the age of 25, he joined the first regiment, Assam Regiment Battalion. There he had got uh, around six bravery awards or so. And we have a biography of him, how he fought this battle under your uh, great grandfather's leadership. So I would like to hand over this small booklet to you. You may take it for your references. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for the time. I wish you all enjoy the local cuisines here. And I also want to request you not to drink too much of the local wine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, I met your father. I knew your father. I met your father another time. Okay, my great grandfather. Now I would like to request you to help her. Oh, from our village side, we'd like to send over a shout to you to Charlotte, of course. Well done. Now, my name is Nessa Chok Kezo. I'm from this village. And I'm the second son of Second War veteran, who is my father. I like to share a short story about my father. At least you have come here to listen to us and learn a few things from us. So I feel it necessary that I share a few things about how my father did during the Second World War. In the year 1940, my father was only 16 years old. From this village, he, along with other friends, went to Shillong. When he went to Shillong, which is the headquarters of the British Army, the British officers were surprised to see a young man coming for recruitment. But the officers told him that you are too young to be recruited. So what happens is that for another two years, you will be called boy. The Britishers, they called young people as boys, and they led them 
uh, did train them, make them learn things, and also serve them sometimes. You know, for two years, my father was serving as boy uh, in, uh, in, under the care of British officers. So after completing two years, that is 1942, he was eligible for recruitment. He was recruited in the 2nd Battalion Assam Regiment. Then the war in 47, after serving for a few years, the Second World War broke off. What happens is that the first battalion was commanded and they were stationed at Jashami, whereas my, my father's battalion was stationed in Shillong. So the first World War, when it broke out, the, as our MLA had already said, the first battalion had to shift to run to, you know, back to Kohima to defend Kohima. Knowing that there is numerous number of people from Japanese army, they were proceeding towards Kohima. So what happens is that in order to save, to, to save Kohima and defend Kohima, the first battalion, after a brief exchange of fire on first April, they went back to Kohima. What happens is that on the first morning, my uncle, what uh, his that is my mater, uh, maternal uncle, Uncle Sobeh, uh, he told me, he told me that uh, in the early morning when it was smoggy, visibility was very poor. So what happens is that they saw some people, is you know. Uh, uh, what's called yeah, surveying about the presence of you know, enemies in Jesha uh, village. So what happens is that after confirming that it was Japanese, the Britishers met the first shot. The British soldiers, the first battalion, they met the first shot, and there was a heavy exchange of bombs and small arms. In the evening of the first, in the evening of the first April. They have to leave, they have to vacate the, the battalion. So what happens in, uh, during the uh, taking the uh, advantage of the darkness? Taking the advantage of the darkness on first April night, they started, the army started moving out. As they were, as they were running towards Kohima to escape from Jesami, they, they fell down on a pitch, a huge pitch. It was totally dark. And the first man will, will go, he will fall down to the pit. The second man comes over him, the third man comes over him, and the entire battalion fell down to that pit. Many have got injured, not of fire, but because of uh, mishaps there in the pit. So finally, they walk for on 2nd <coughs> April and the 3rd April, and around 3, 3 p.m., they have reached Prima. They alerted everything and the security took position and finally they started defending Kohima. Then very shortly the Japanese reached Kohima and then Second World War thereby started. Then you know the first battalion was in fight in you know with the Japanese soldiers, but it was so difficult for them to withstand the first battalion along with Allied forces. They could not withstand the Japanese uh, forces. So the second battalion was where my father was there. They were requisitioned to reach Kohima immediately. As soon as they reached Kohima, some were, some were stationed at Kohima, some stationed in Zubza, the place between Kohima and Dimapur. Some were left in Dimapur. So what happens is that they were, they, the first battalion was, the second battalion was divided into three groups some already in the battlefield or waiting for the order to fire and take position. Second group in the Mezifil Atori, Zubza. Third group in Dimapur. My father and his group already reached Kohima. But fortunately, there was uh, news about bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Then what happened is that before the second battalion start firing, the Japanese declared surrender. So thereby, my father did not fire, did not fire 
a single bullet in the Second World War, but they had to, the <laughs> battalion had to go back to Shillong to their respective battalion headquarters. So this is a short story. Though my father did not participate, he was awarded with lots of awards. This is few awards he has received. Medals. I dare not put on my head because I'm not my father and I have not heard it. But this is the head, the cap. The cap. This is my father. Assam Regiment cap. My father told me that. Uh, this battalion is called Rhino Battalion. Rhino Battalion. Yeah, second battalion is called Rhino Battalion. Anyway, thank you for this privilege. And wish you all a happy stay. And uh, uh, probably in the near future, let our children know each other. If our time may go, but our children will really will relive our lives. Thank you so much. traditional folk song that they have sung in uh, especially in these areas uh, young people are uh, taught to start singing like this our churches are really the foundation for it as well because whether, whether it's western music classical music or folk music we are always given a chance and so you got an opportunity to see this uh, yeah and uh, whenever you get an occasion to come more this being the end point, most of the time people don't even think about coming to this part because it's so far away, but you'll find that if you explore, there are so many small bits and pieces that you would miss out if you didn't come to explore, so you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also, I just wanted to say, uh, on my behalf, on KS behalf, behalf uh, the Goyma Education Society's behalf, since I'm the only one representing them here today, but um, I just wanted to say thank you very much for your you know, taking a detour and coming here. And also, especially thanking Faith Village and our CBO for organizing this, because this is all on the house. You don't, no one is shelling out of your pocket, but they're very generously welcome here and is um, uh, taking you to this really well. I'm totally humbled by your welcome. Thank you all. My great my grandfather, I'm not sure what he would say. I hope he would be very proud of our coming back. He considered himself a part of the community here. He loved his soldiers. I understand that they loved him. I'm so pleased and proud that we can be back here to try to remember not just him, not just his soldiers, not just the Nargis who helped were invaluable to everybody who was involved in this conflict, to remember them so that they are never forgotten. We must never forget them. And to pass that <coughs> torch of remembrance on to the next generation. So I hope our children can meet and they can take this forward. A huge thank you from us all. And happy, happy Easter. Oh, it's gone. Happy Easter. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then I didn't realize that you were meant to peel the sugar cane. Yeah. So I just started like eating it. And okay. then people started looking at me really weird. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's all be The food was unbelievable. Yeah, well, the presentation and like the, the yeah. sort of song that the girls did and everything. I think it's very, it's very special. Please, please, please do be good again. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd love to. It's my first time here and I'll definitely do it. Just come back, we'll gladly have you guys again. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, oh, you got you got almost my whole family here, so that's that's my sister there. Yeah, Sophia and I'm yes. her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good, with, good, with, good with names. And then Billy, and then my dad. Yeah, Billy, I met her. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey. And then, How's it going? Good. good to see you. Yeah, how was the experience here? Amazing. Like you guys put on a hell of a show. Was the, I didn't wasn't I didn't know it was going to happen today. And it's a game. I was like, I think we're all quite amazed. Yeah. 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 You guys all grow up here? Yeah. 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 How do you know such good English as well? Yeah, that's really cool. Just trying to, you know, uh, it's really hard to speak with natives because uh, it's really hard to get what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. I just want to speak to you guys. And it was really fun. Where did, where did you learn to speak English? Yeah, exactly. Just stay, stay no, I'll stay in the group. No, I'll stay in the play. This is beautiful. It's terrific. It really is. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love to meet you. I would actually love to meet you. That was incredible. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Safe journey. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, eh? One day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 y